Hi everyone. Welcome to My Crafting World. My name is Anna and thank you for tuning in. If you're new, welcome. And if you, you're returning, welcome back. So I follow a lady and her name is Esther Luca. I will have her link in the description box at the end of that, uh, at the bottom of the video. So um, she's been doing a series on um, making Valentine cards with stickers and whatever we have on hand. So I thought, you know, she, she showed a really cute technique and I really liked it. So I thought I would go ahead and try to make me a, um, a Valentine's card. And um, so I brought you along to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so the, the only thing that I've done so far is I did cut my card out um, <clears throat> and I always put it in a book that way it, you know it, it stays flat so I distressed the edges a little bit and I used the Tim Holtz vintage photo and um, I distressed the edges a little bit I love shabby chic and I look I like you know all things distressed you don't have to use the distress inks you can use any ink that you have um, with a sponge or it, it does not have to be Tim Holtz I have very few name brand products and um, so I use these quite a bit and I did um, I don't know if you can tell I use a, a I used a it's called Perfect Pearls Mist Pink Gumball by Ranger. Um, and I got this at a um, at a store where they sell um, items that, or crafting items that are uh, donated and they sell at a discount. So this is where I got this. I don't even know if they still make this. If, if they don't, I don't know. But it does tend to uh, splatter quite a bit. So, um, I mean, I don't know. I I was I managed to soak up the splatter with some with a paper towel, but uh, it does splatter. So I mean, I don't know if that's normal for um for that brand or not. And on the back, I did stamp it. It says "Handmade by Anna Rodriguez," and that is a stamp that uh one of the the uh, members in in my Facebook group uh, made me a stamp. It's a mink stamp making um thingy that she has a silhouette and i don't know how she did it but you know she did make it and she gifted that to me and so i stamped the back with uh, my little handmade by anna stamp so i keep that handy so for this and then i did stamp the inside of the card a little happy Valentine's Day and that one was the stamp from the dollar spot at Target so um, I just used the red ink and I used um, this one um, I got this one at Michaels I think these are like two dollars at Michaels so that's what I used to stamp it with and um, so yeah this is the base of the card that we're going to be making so that that is the base of my card um, and I only did that beforehand because I didn't want to have to wait for it to dry, although it, it doesn't take long at all. So she was saying that we could use stickers, um, anything we have on hand. These actually were gifted to me in a swap that I did recently. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use because, um, well, I haven't made the card yet, so I'm gonna see what looks better with it. But so I pulled these out. And I pulled out the table scatter and this, I don't remember if I got it at, um, I may have gotten this one from Dollar Tree. I don't remember, or it could be from the uh, Target dollar spot. That may be it. Um, and I have some um, hearts that I got in a, um, where did I put my hearts? Oh, there they are. I got these in a in a swap that I just did, um, and I and I sprayed this one as well, but you know it just really doesn't show up very very well. I don't know if you can you can see that, but it doesn't show up well at all. But I I like this little heart. 
um, I like these three and I pulled a couple of hearts from my stash. These come from the dollar spot at Target. Um, some of these have a color, you know, a silver background and the pink ones, uh, some of the pink ones have a gold background. Um, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. And then I got some washi and another swap. Um, I, this is the only Valentine washi that I have. So if I use anything, it'll be out of here. Um, so the paper pad I'm going to use is from Hobby Lobby, the Paper Studio Vintage Valentine. And this is what I've been using for all my projects. And, you know, I just, I really, I really like this, uh, this paper because it does look kind of vintage. Um, you know, and then with a little distressing, it looks so much prettier. But, um, so yeah, this is the paper pad that I'm using. And I did, um pull out three sheets of paper. So I think I'm gonna be working with these cause these, I think, you know, were some of my favorites. So I think I will do that. So the technique that Esther was, um, was showing us was a um, tearing, she used stickers as well, but for her base, she tore these, um, to make borders on here. Well, I'm gonna tear mine, but it's not gonna be to make borders. Um, I'm gonna make a, um, I'm gonna layer three hearts together. So this one's gonna be the bottom. This one's gonna be the middle one. I don't know if you can see, yeah. This is the middle one, and this is going to be the top one. So I kinda, I don't know, I may move it this way, but I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna start with the bottom one. So, I have to tear this into a heart. Um, I can't even trace a circle. So let me see if I can actually even oh, tear. I want to make sure that I don't go past maybe this point. So maybe I should try drawing my heart on there first. Let me try drawing a heart, which doesn't have to be perfect. I know I went past that mark. Um, yeah, with the tearing at my, okay. So I'm going to tear, um, let me see. I'm gonna tear towards me that way, no, away from me. That way I can have that, that edge that is tattered. I'm gonna have to straighten that, straighten that out. I'm not worried, I'm not very worried about the heart not being perfectly symmetrical because it is a, it's supposed to be something looking tattered. So, Tearing here. Okay, getting to the edge here. Okay. Well, one side of my heart is bigger than the other, but I think I'm going to leave it there like that for. I'm gonna leave it like that for for right now. Kind of like that. Okay, so let me see if it's gonna fit on my page. Yeah, it's gonna fit on there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this one like that. The next one though, I have to make smaller than this one because it is going to be layered. So I'm just gonna go over it like this and make sure I stay in the line. It down to the center. Okay, guys, bear with me here. Yeah. 
Okay, she made it look a lot easier than it actually is. So, so kudos to her. A bit smaller than that. I have a feeling that that last one's gonna be super hard to do. I know she's not a subscriber to my channel, so I know she's not, she can't see how difficult this is for me. Well, I think it's difficult because I'm doing it from the back side. Okay, so let me see how this is going to, I, think I, need, I still need it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna try this side. I'm gonna do this side smaller. Tearing the wrong way. Okay, I think that looks better, guys. Does anyone else have allergies? Oh my goodness, my allergies are so bad. Okay. Yes, that looks pretty. Okay, so now let's do the last one. Oh my goodness, okay, let's try the last one. Okay. And I will stay within the lines, inside the lines. Okay. okay here we go, guys. So yes, as I was telling you about Esther, she's a really cool lady. She does some some pretty cool videos. So you should go over there and check her channel out. She's got a face Facebook page as well. If I can remember, I'm going to link that Facebook page onto the description box. You can tell I'm concentrating really hard here. This one turned out to be pretty, not pretty cool. Okay, guys. Last little bit here. All right, let's see how that turned out. Not bad, guys. Not too bad. Okay, so now my, I have to decide whether I want to use washi or not. Actually, I think I could use, this one could be, become a little smaller but I think I'll leave it leave it as is um let me see what this washi looks like okay here we go okay here we go I don't know yeah it would match and I do, I love my distressed edges, I really do. Anybody else here like shabby chic? Love my shabby chic. You know what, I'm going to do the one side. Trim it down here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Okay. Trim this down just a tad. Should have torn it my way. Okay. I think I, I'm going to do that one like that. This one like this. And this one like this. But I think I'm going to distress the edges a little bit. I am going to use Walnut Stain. That's a little bit darker than the uh, vintage photo that I used around the card. So not that I'm going to distress it a whole lot. I just want those edges kind of dark. Define the hearts a little bit more.
this is the way it's supposed to be done, but I don't want too much of the heart distressed. Oh, I love that edge. Look at that. I really like that, guys. Yeah, see how that, that looks so much better. Okay, let me do the back. Or let me do this one. And like I said, you don't need this tool. You can just use a cosmetic sponge to get the ink onto the sponge and then onto your paper. I'm trying to do this quickly because I don't want this video to run too long. There we go. Okay, let me see. Yes, I like that. If you can tell, but I really, really like that. Okay. Last one, here we go. This one I think I do want darker. I love me some cards. I really like to do um, pocket letters as well. You know, I love, I like all kinds of crafts, I really do. Not just paper, but paper is my passion, so. I am pressing a little bit harder on this one because I do want more of that edge dark darkened. Okay. This is going to be it for this, for this, uh, here, let me wipe this up a little bit. Before it gets all over the back of my, whoops, the back of my card. Okay. So this is going to be like this. I am going to, excuse me, I'm going to wet glue it down. Okay, and this is just regular tacky glue. It's nothing special. And I don't use a whole lot of glue. And then after I do glue pieces down, I um, put them in a book, like I said earlier. I put them in the book so they'll dry nice and flat. Okay. This is the next one, next layer. Again, all wet glue. I thought about putting them up on dimensionals, and we could do that, but her her thing be behind her videos was how easy it is to make a pretty looking card um, without anything fancy. I think she did use dimensionals on the last couple of cards, but um, I'm going to leave it like this. Oh, how pretty. I do like that. Okay, guys. Now, that would be cute, you know, just like that, but I am going to add a heart to the center, and I need to figure out which heart, you know, you can, I may use this one and just um, ink it up a little bit because it is a, it's not the right pink though. Or we could just use a bow. That I have bows up here. No, I guess I don't. Um, let me look for the bows. Okay, guys. So ultimately, I decided to go with this pink heart that uh, came in a swap. But what I did was I took off the little jewel, and I am going to glue. And I, I should be using hot glue, but my hot glue gun is not plugged in, so I am not going to use that. So I went with the pink bow. I did find my bows. 
and I'm gonna hold it there for just a second. The bows are teeny tiny. I got these bows at uh, Hobby Lobby, um, $2.99. They were 40% off, so that's uh, $2.09 oh, or something like that. So, and I haven't noticed, but this is a sticker, and I am going to just, and I should do what Esther does. She puts extra glue on her, on her stickers just to make sure that they're not going to come off. So I may, I may do that still. If I can get this backing off, there it comes. Okay guys, I took the backing off. Don't want to lose sight of my bow. I'm going to just add a little glue here and there just to, for extra adhesion. And I may have to go back with my glue gun and glue that bow down. For now, I'm gonna hold it. Press it down. And I did distress the heart. I didn't want it to, I wanted it to be distressed like the rest of the, the hearts are. So, there we go. Quick and easy, guys. It didn't take long at all. Um, I don't have my enamel dots out or I'd probably put, you know, dots here and there. I could actually probably, no, I don't want to use something that shiny, but I could use some of the enamel dots or puffy dots or something like that. So this was my easy card to make. Didn't take long at all. And um, thank you to Esther. Guess who's going to get this card? Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later.